Hi everyone, student Dr. Siddiqui here. Today we're going to be talking about the anatomy of the lower limbs. We're going to focus on the anterior thigh muscles first. So what makes up the anterior thigh muscles? The quadricep femoris. Quad meaning four. So it consists of rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, and vastus medialis. The first muscle we're going to take a look at is called the rectus femoris. Rectus femoris is located on the most anterior aspect of the thigh. The point of origin for the rectus femoris is the anterior inferior iliac spine and the supraacetabular sulcus. This muscle inserts on the patella and tibial tuberosity. The function of rectus femoris is flexion of the hip joint and extension of the knee joint. This muscle can perform both of these actions because it's crossing both the hip joint and the knee joint. The next muscle we're going to talk about is called the vastus medialis. It's located more medially. Its point of origin is the linea aspera and the introtrochanteric line of the femur. It inserts on the patella and tibial tuberosity. The function of vastus medialis is extension of the knee joint and it can also cause a slight internal rotation. On the other hand, vastus lateralis is located more laterally. Its point of origin is the linea aspera and the greater trochanter, which is located on the lateral aspect of the femur. Its point of insertion is the patella and tibial tuberosity, and the function of vastus lateralis is also extension of the knee joint and a slight external rotation at the knee joint. The last quadricep muscle that we're going to discuss is vastus intermedius. This muscle is located right beneath the rectus femoris. Its point of origin is the body of the femur and it inserts on the patella and tibial tuberosity. The function of this muscle is extension of the knee joint. In summary, the quadricep femoris muscle consists of rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, and vastus medialis. All four muscles cause extension of the knee joint. However, rectus femoris, since it crosses both the hip joint and the knee joint, can flex the hip joint. Vastus lateralis can cause slight external rotation, while vastus medialis can cause slight internal rotation. Sartorius is one of the longest muscles in the body, and it crosses both the hip joint and the knee joint. The point of origin for the sartorius is the anterior superior iliac spine and the supraacetabular notch. It inserts on the medial aspect of the tibial tuberosity called the pes incernius. The action of sartorius is to flex, abduct, and laterally rotate the thigh at the hip joint. It can also flex the leg at the knee joint. It's important to know that these uh, anterior thigh muscles are innervated by the femoral nerve. So all anterior thigh muscles are innervated by the femoral nerve. So in order to summarize everything, anterior thigh muscles are also known as extensors. Anterior thigh muscles consist of quadricep femoris and sartorius. Quadricep femoris causes extension of the leg at the knee joint, while sartorius causes extension of the leg at the knee joint and flexion of the thigh at the hip joint. Thank you for tuning in. Please tune in to the next video where we'll be discussing the posterior thigh muscles.